A woman who suffered critical injuries after being hit by a police motorcade escorting the Duchess of Edinburgh has now died. She was struck at the junction of West Cromwell Road and Warwick Road in Earl's Court, West London, on May 10th. The 81-year-old, named as Helen Holland, was taken to hospital after treatment from paramedics at the scene. But her family said in a statement that she fought for her life for nearly two weeks, but irreversible damage to her brain finally ended the battle today, the BBC reports. Her son, Martin Holland, said his mother had died after suffering multiple broken bones and massive internal injuries while using the safe route of a pedestrian crossing. The motorcade was escorting Sophie, the Duchess of Edinburgh, at the time of the crash. Following the incident, Buckingham Palace said the Duchess's heartfelt thoughts and prayers are with the injured lady and her family. The palace added that the Duchess was grateful for the swift response of emergency services and will keep abreast of developments. Further comment at this time would not be appropriate while the incident is being investigated. The Independent Office for Police Conduct soon launched an investigation, which remains ongoing. The police watchdog reached out to Holland's family to explain our role and will keep them regularly updated as the investigation progresses. It previously said that, as part of its investigation into the incident, CCTV from nearby properties and police body camera footage would be examined. Officers who were on the scene were expected to be interviewed, and the watchdog appealed for other witnesses to come forward. Holland had been in London visiting her sister at the time of the crash. Buckingham Palace has not provided any further comment so far. The Duchess of Edinburgh is currently in Iraq to champion the survivors of conflict-related sexual violence. Sophie has so far spent two days in Baghdad, where she heard about the challenges facing Iraqi women and girls, and the ongoing work to protect and promote their rights. The visit, which is taking place at the request of the Foreign Office, is in support of the Women, Peace and Security Agenda.